To me, teaching and learning is a two-way interactive process between faculty members and students. It is not just a one-way knowledge delivery, but it is also important for us to understand students' learning needs and identify their difficulties in learning, so that we can help to develop teaching innovations to help students overcoming their learning difficulties. During that period, I noticed my students have difficulty in applying the knowledge learned in classroom in a clinical practice, and they even felt very stressful and hard to adapt to the work setting during the placement. And therefore, I worked with my colleagues Dr. Margaret Mack and Mr. Raymond Lowe, and we developed using the medical case simulation scenario, and we used different set of programs tailor-made to our discipline, which is specifically addressing our students' need. Encouraged by my students' positive feedback, I further modified the teaching pedagogy and innovation by incorporating advanced medical simulation with fleet classroom approach to help them bridge the knowledge gap between university teaching and a clinical placement. In this simulator model, actually, um, the whole process are being recorded and we can know details of different steps that we are taken. For example, what we are speaking to our patients about our decision making or in our group discussion during the simulator model, um, what we are discussing or what we are looking for. Actually, we can all recall back to the uh, recording so that um, Shelly, which is our teacher, can um, have some feedback for us. Students, they have diversity in learning style and progresses. So that is the reason why I would try to use different type of teaching pedagogies such as the online voting, mobile apps, worksheet, or even um, in-class collaborative work to get students engaged. Uh, take an example, in one of my lectures, I even used the online interactive games, which I have posed several questions. And students can work together with their friends and using the anonymously voting to different answers. Through the voting choice, I will understand what students understand and what they don't understand, and I can give them appropriate feedback afterwards. So through this, students can learn um, interactively. Shirley is a very good model because uh, she always uh, encouraged me to try to go out of my comfort zone and to try new things. And she also encouraged me so much in order to try some new things such as uh, taking part in conference presentation in Australia. When we teach our students, we always focus about evidence-based practice. So we think that it is very important to cultivate our students' interest and the ability to conduct clinical research starting from their undergraduate years in order to help them develop to be an all-rounded clinicians. Through these two years with Shelley, actually I got lots of exposure in research expat and I find that research is quite interesting and actually it is as useful as clinical work. In my personal expat, I think research is a foundation um, to build up our clinical reasoning so that we can have a clinical work to treat our patient in hospital. As an early career faculty member, I still have a long way to walk through this teaching journey. I will continue identifying the needs and difficulties of my students and help them get through any obstacle that they come across during their undergraduate education.